Metroid. Metroid is one of my favorite video game series. How do you feel about the Metroid video game series? Um, it has good games. It has bad games. Um, I agree. I don't like every game in the series. Yeah. I always say a lot of the so there's like 15 Metroid games or something, and I always say I either out of out of all the games in the series, I either love them or <laughs> kind of hate them. So let's see if that holds true. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a ranking of the Metroid games. Are you ready? Right, yes. Are you full of opinions? Yes, I am ready for this. Which, which one are we gonna start with? Well, we gotta start with the classic, the original. Metroid, Metroid for the NES. I actually um, had. Oh, I actually had this game for the uh, when it came out uh, for the NES. I still have the cartridge. Um, yeah, what do you think about this game? I think it's uh, a really fun game, uh, especially for an NES game. Um, and it was very good for like the basics of building up for new games. Uh, it there's a lot of stuff that it's missing that can make it a lot better, even on just on the NES. Um, but basically, it's a B tier. I rank it a B tier. I yeah, think. you put it in B. What kind of stuff is it missing? Um, one of my favorite things to do in video games is get upgrades and i feel like there's not as much upgrades like there's a ton of upgrades in metroid but i feel like this one has the least as well as the least amount of boss battles which i also really like that's right there's only three yeah so i think and a half i more, don't know <laughs> more, more bosses more upgrades and it would probably be an a or s tier i see where's my list so um, oh, what was I going to say? This game, uh, did I used to play it? I think I was scared of it when I was younger, but I definitely played it. I, I, I can play, I can beat it on the NES now. I can't remember how old I was when I first beat on the NES. I think, I don't remember it being too hard. Like one of the hardest parts is just the final section of the game, the final area with, you know, where all the Metroids are, Torian. Um, but there was, there's kind of some patterns you can follow, and it's, I really don't find it that hard. Uh, maybe it's because I grew up with it. I don't know. Um, so you think it's, like, too, uh, too easy? One of my favorite... Uh, not too easy. No, I am not saying it's too easy. I will never say Metroid for NES is too easy. Um, but uh, one of my favorite things about this game is I love the atmosphere so much. It just sucks me right in. The, uh, the black backgrounds, which he, I think that was different compared to the other games I was playing. You know, I was playing Mega Man with its uh, bright, colorful background. Super Mario Brothers has bright, colorful background. Then there's Metroid. Black. Dark caves. Well, I mean, there's like, there's sections that are neon green and bright white and, oh, they look alien and foreign and they're so cool. And I love the music. Um, oh yeah, the music is really good. Oh man. So I've got my tier list here. Uh, so I would, it's kind of my, my special own personalized tier list. Uh, style, and I would rank Metroid 1 under best. And what best means is uh, not only do I love this game, but I will go out of my way, like I actively choose to play it again and again because I enjoy it so much. All right, what's uh, what's next? Are we gonna go in order from Metroid 1, Metroid 2, Metroid 3? Yeah, Metroid 2. All right, Metroid 2. And to clarify, this is the original black and white Game Boy game. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't like this game. Uh, it is, I think it is a fun game. I'm pretty sure it has more upgrades and more bosses, which is what I, the main thing I didn't like about it, uh, the first game. But the, the one huge problem is... I always get lost. Like you have to have like a map on the computer or something, or something else to be able to know where you are. Because they never know where I am because everything looks the same, and there's no map, nowhere to tell you where you are. So I get lost a lot, and then I never know what I'm doing, and I can never get anywhere, and I never have fun. So I read this in D tier, D tier because D tier. It all Metroid is two. And you all get lost and then never have any fun at all trying to look for where I'm going. 
being lost is uh, if you mm, if you're excited to play the game and you don't know where to go next, then you can't play the game because you're too lost. That's not fun. Yeah. I agree. Oh man, Metroid Two, <laughs> as you might know, yeah, is know. possibly my favorite game of all time. <laughs> I've played through the whole game countless times. Um, I do remember playing it back in the day. Oh, actually, oh man, it's kind of funny. The game actually scared me so much that I sold my copy, but then I missed it, so I repurchased it later. I don't know, it was weird. Uh, but it does have an intense atmosphere at times. I agree, so there's no in-game map, and it is easy to get lost at times. Yeah. And I think the reason I, it wasn't a problem for me was because what you said, I had a map in like Nintendo Power Magazine. And yeah. uh, I carry that around. I, I don't. I don't have. They, they don't sell magazines for retro games. Oh right. Well, everything's uh, online nowadays. Yeah. All right. So this is pretty easy for me. Favorite Metroid game. One of my favorite games of all time. I adore this game. Okay. Metroid Three. This is what I call the rebrand of Metroid One. Super Metroid. Yeah. Um, Rebranded Metroid 1. <laughs> like, there's more bosses, more, a lot, a lot, lot more items. So, I think I would, like, I'm, I'm stuck between A and B tier on this one. It's a very in between. Well, why would it be A tier? Um, because more items and more, basically just like, uh, I feel like it's an update, uh, to Metroid 1 with better graphics and more items and not really an entire new game. Um, but I'll give, I'll give it an A tier. Okay. Well, why would it be a B tier? Uh, because it's pretty much, it feels just like an update to Metroid 1. So I feel like that's not really like a good game design. You don't want, well, Wii U, <laughs> pretty much. All right. Just Metroid, but Super better. Metroid A tier. As for me, I actually played this game for the first time, not that long ago, like only a couple years ago, and uh, it certainly is good. It's a good game. Uh, I didn't, I didn't fall in love with it as much as I, I don't know, hoped I would or thought I would after loving other games in the Metroid series so much, but it's definitely good. So it's not crap, um, and it's not mediocre. This is going to go in the good uh, category, and what good means is that I do think it's a good game. I did enjoy my playthrough of it, but it's not something. I don't. I never think like, oh, I got some free time. I want to go put on Super Metroid. Nah, it's just something I enjoyed playing, and then I kind of moved on. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Okay. Fusion. Next game, uh, <laughs> let's do. Next. Well, they kind of came out the same time. Yeah. Let's do Metroid Prime. Let's okay. jump to 3D. Prime. Prime. Metroid Prime. The, well, the Prime series is one of my favorite. Like maybe my favorite game series. Of all time, the Prime series. Um, it's uh, super fun since I played it on the Wii U, uh, the Prime trilogy. I would always use motion controls, and it would all be super fun with that. Um, especially the third game, which actually did have it. But this is the first game. I'd say the first game is a very good game. Good atmosphere, good amount of items, good bosses. Overall good, and I think that this is my uh, first S tier. S tier. Where is it? Let's see here. Metroid Prime. This one. Yeah, that one. S tier. Oh yeah, there it is. Metroid Prime. Oh, the pictures are so teensy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I agree. This game. I think this is one of the best games of all time. Uh, it's incredible. Um, and holy crap, you were talking about the atmosphere? Do you yes. remember going through, what is it, the laboratory when the lights go out? Yes. Oh my gosh, that scared the everything out of me. It's so good. And it's just a video game. Uh, oh. 
Uh, I agree. This is uh, I actively seek out this game. This is one of the best games. Uh, let me think. What else can I say about this game? It's flawless. They did. They flawlessly. It was a flawless transition from 2D to 3D. Uh, they nailed yeah, really, uh, the atmosphere. really really good graphics. I heard that. Uh, oh, oh my god, the graphics hold up still today. I, in my opinion, um, I heard I heard stories about how when this game was in development, you know, Nintendo announced, "Oh, we're going to make a 3D Zelda." I'm sorry, a 3D Metroid. And from what I understand, people were really nervous. Like they were thinking uh, Quake 3 Arena, Twitch shooter. Ugh, this is fast-paced crap. But no, it came out, and it's a perfect blend of adventure and action. Uh, it's a lot of puzzle. It's like a puzzle game with, like, shooting things. Mm -hmm. And it's a Metroidvania. You're not mm -hmm. just running through a level. You're exploring an entire world, and it feels like one large, cohesive world. Oh, so good. Okay, so basically, very good game. Uh, next, now we're, now we're doing Fusion, right? Metroid Fusion. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. Have you ever played all the way through Fusion? No. How far did you get? Did you meet mm. X? Or S-A-X. No. The sax. <laughs> I, I've never really played that game at uh, all. Okay. Um, from what I've seen of it, it is, like, very scary. Uh, I do not plan on playing it until I'm at least 13. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um... And I don't know. It seems like it'd be fun, except for all the creepy parts. It doesn't seem like an extremely good game or an extremely bad game. So I think I'll give it a neutral C tier. Neutral C tier. Metroid Fusion. Right here. C. C for can't complain. All right, as for me, so I played through this game. I bought it when it came out. Uh, did I buy it when it came out? Anyway, I bought it in the store, and uh, I played through it. I've played through it at least twice. The first time I played through it, you know, I was introduced to the SAX, the... <laughs> the Samus Aran X Parasite. Yeah, that's chasing you around the space station, and oh my gosh. Like, I got so so scared and so intimidated and just terrified of this thing hunting me down. I had to take a brief break from the game for about five years. <laughs> Until I find, before finally picking it up again. And I really do think it's a good game. Uh, I love the way Metroid games make you feel... They make me feel weak. Uh, and almost helpless in the beginning. Yeah. And then as you progress, by the end, you're just this unstoppable powerhouse beast of a machine. I mean, there's also, like, uh, Prime, where they're like, okay, you're super strong. We're taking away all your items now. Get them back, and yeah. you can be super, like, even stronger. That's cool to get a little taste. Uh, but Metroid Fusion? So, uh, where would I put this? Whew. Oh, wow, interesting. Um, at the very least, it's a good... On my on my good list, I would say, I would say it goes under good, and the reason I'm putting it there, even though I really like it, it good good is is good. It's a good game. Um, it's and I, even though I played through it twice, I have tried to pick it up more recently and replay it, and I don't know, it doesn't really draw me in as much as I always think it might. Uh, I mean, Metroid Prime. I'll just Metroid Prime, Metroid Two, original Metroid. I'll just plow through the game in like one sitting. I just love it so much. Oh, also, I mean, we didn't talk. Metroid Fusion is uh, a little different in that it has a whole ton of story and words to yeah, to wait through. There, there, <laughs> there, there's a, it's like the, one of the few Metroid games that actually has a huge story as part of the game. Not Metroid for NES. Yeah. You just read the instruction manual and plow through that sucker. Me Metroid we don't have room one, on the cartridge. Metroid 2 <laughs> and Metroid 2 and Metroid 3 has a little bit of story, but not a lot. Um, all really don't have a lot of story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, a Metroid Zero Mission. Okay. Zero Mission is one of my favorite games, except for the end. I hate the end. <laughs> it's basically like. By like the end. So, all... the end, you mean uh, after defeating Mother Brain? Yes. Yep. Um, you get like zero suit thing. Like that's the main 
it as the name of the game. Now you're zero suit Sam's. Um, the one thing that I don't like about it is you can't kill things. Like, an entire part of the game is shooting, like, space pirates and stuff. Now you can't even shoot space pirates. You just have this taser that when you shoot it normally, you can't even hurt them or stun them or do anything. You have to charge it, and then it stuns them for, like, three seconds. And that's all you can do. And you have to do an entire very difficult boss fight to get your suit back. So, if it weren't for that ending part, then I would give it an S tier, but just because of that, I think I'll give it a B tier. Whoa, you really dislike that part. Yeah. All right. Metroid Zero Mission. You said C? B. Oh, B tier, sorry. Hey, look at that! Right next to Metroid. <laughs> because, and it's funny because, uh, yeah, Zero Mission is a remake of the original game. Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh I'm man! Sure I know you don't like this game. I had to. I was so excited. Oh boy, another Metroid game I missed out on. Let me load this up and try it out. Have a blast. Oh my gosh. I. I mean, so the first time I remember. Uh, I, so I love the music from the original NES game so much. My favorite song is Craid's Lair. And I remember uh, you and your sister. I was so excited to show you my favorite song. Uh, and so I was playing it, I was loading up on YouTube, and I was like, oh, here, there's a, there's the, the newer version from the Game Boy Advance game. And I loaded it up, and was in, it was the first time I heard the uh, the Game Boy, um, the, the Metroid Fusion version, I'm sorry. It was the first time I heard the Craid's Lair version from Metroid Zero Mission. And, oh my gosh, I hated it immediately. It was, something was wrong. And I think it's a good, it was a... It was a sign of things to come. I finally sat myself down and did play through the entire game. I so my biggest complaint is the atmosphere is completely wrong. Oh it, yeah, that's true. It looks like a comic book um, with bright green and bright purple. The original game had bright green and bright purple, but it's different. It was missing missing a darkness. It was it was yeah. Um, it was like hey, you're on Earth now. It feels like you're on Earth. Oh, like, interesting. And it had. Uh, colors a little bit. It had comic book style cutscenes. Um, what else? Oh, I, I just like all all the music, the remade music in the game. Uh, yeah, I just if, as someone who really truly loved the original, the remake was it was just a downgrade in every way to me. And I do understand that for many people, it's their favorite game in the series, and for good reason. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I had to, it was the first game, up to this point, I was kind of playing through all the Metroid games and 100%ing them. I beat the game and I tried for just a little bit to uh, to try to get 100% of the items after that, after beating it, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I, would, I had to drag myself just to play through the main campaign. Okay, so my personal opinion, Metroid Zero Mission is going in... Okay or crap? Oh, oh man, I think I'm gonna say okay. It's an okay game. It's definitely not crap. It's playable. It's got a lot of good in it. It just didn't do a thing for me. Okay. Um, oh man, next that was a good one. Is next Antoir or Prime? Next up is. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Echo. I like this game. <laughs> it is very, very, very it is a, it's a very good game. I the like this It's not the first Prime game. They introduced like phase on and now like there's a little bit more phase on. Also, traveling between dimensions, super cool. <laughs> very <laughs> Very a thing that I like a lot in uh, games, except for um, that it's super hard to create. I, from what I know, it's super hard to code in and stuff. But anyways, it's super fun. Travel between dimensions, using ammo for the special weapons. I think that's a cool feature. Um, and there's just a lot of cool uh, things that you can do in the game. 
It introduced a lot of stuff, including the 3D screw. It's called screw attack, right? Yeah, jumping and spinning. Yeah, uh, screw attack. It's very, very different from the 2D one. Um, but it's very good. It's not the best game ever. Uh, uh, the visors. The visors are also super cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. I don't know. I just don't like it as much. Oh, oh yeah. I now I remember. I hate the um the end the end the end the, the very very end. The escape sequence. Yeah, I hate the escape sequence. I can never do it. That's the one prime game that I haven't beat yet because of that stupid fight. Oh no, really? That's crazy. <laughs> yep. And um It's a shame. I, I like the end sequence the escape sequence, but it's a little wonky. It's hard to Yeah, get it. I can never get the phase on thing. Yeah. Um But uh besides the two ending fights, uh it's very good it's a very good game. I think I'll give that another A tier. A tier. I don't hate the end as much as I do for uh, Zero Mission. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. If I remember history correctly, the uh, Metroid Prime team, <laughs> they had one year to make Metroid Prime 2. Is that right? Wait. That is insanely there's, there's short. No, I guess there's I can... no way. Metroid Prime came out in 2002. Metroid Prime 2, it looks like, came out in 2004. Maybe two years. Anyway, less than two years, it looks like, to make this game. And that is insane to make a complete... I didn't know that. I mean, it was essentially a AAA title for Nintendo. Yeah. And, yeah. So... That is pretty... I didn't realize that. That's pretty crazy. But to do So to do that, they have a lot of... They did a lot of tricks. They reused a lot of... Well, I mean, they reused the whole first game. Like the engine. Yeah. Uh, they... They uh, reused a lot of the enemies, they, and just like added different skins on them. They did a trick where they made the world smaller, but then that you're exploring smaller, but then they added twice as much by doubling yeah. it in Light World and Dark World. Yeah, so that's okay. clever. Yeah, that makes sense. And so, that's considering cool. all those things, I think it's really clever. I think they're really clever what they pulled off. Um, I like Metroid Prime 2. I don't like it as much as Metroid Prime 1. Yeah, it's definitely not as good as Prime 1. I uh, appreciate the differences and the the new things they tried. I played through it more than once. I think I played through it twice, maybe three times. And my only... Com I'm sorry, my biggest complaint. I don't know if I have more than one complaint, but definitely my biggest complaint is the lack of save stations. There's really, oh, really yeah, no like need to have worst. that few... Yeah. It's just wasting the player's time. Apparently, it's supposed to make the game harder, but it just makes it more annoying. Yeah. So, wow, okay. I think I'm going to make that good. It's definitely it's a good game, and I enjoyed it. Ah, uh, well... Ah, uh, it might be best. Oh, man, this is tricky. That's how I felt with that. Uh, I really <laughs> like Metroid Prime 2. Oh, it's not as... I don't think it's as good. I like the way you ranked it. So on yours, you ranked it lower than Metroid Prime. But uh, I really like Metroid Prime 2. I'm going to leave it under best. I would actively go out and play that again. Like, yeah, cool. Okay. Now are we going to do M2? What are we Metroid doing? Metroid Prime M2? Pinball! Oh, I know. Um, I've never played this game. You don't know anything about this game. <laughs> But I'm just gonna put an F tier because it's a what? pinball game. How dare you? Sacrilege! It's a pinball game! <laughs> and I just have a spot for it here. Metroid Prime Pinball. I've never played it either. No nobody knows about pinball. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Metroid Prime Hunters. Ooh. Hunters. So I played a lot on the 3DS before the Switch came out. I like I played on that all the time and i was like oh it's a metroid prime game i like metroid prime i'm gonna load this up and try it i do not like that game <laughs> one thing is uh uh with metroid 2 i said there was no map and i never knew where i was going 
It's the same for this game. There's no map and I never knew where I was going. Yeah, I definitely get lost in this game too. And I hated the controls. I think I'd be more used to them after playing uh, a different game that uses the controls a lot. Not a Metroid game. Uh, but a game that uses those same controls. And I might be a little bit more used to it now. But I just never liked that game. Um, but I, I think that it is a really good game. I just don't really don't really like, like it that much. So I'll give it a C tier. C tier. Metroid Prime Hunters. Cool. Alright. I, I think I've overheard you really liking this. It's complicated. So I did play through it so many, quite a few years ago. I didn't get it when it came out, but I did get by it quite a few years ago for the DS, and I played through it. And I remembered really enjoying it. I think the control scheme is really clever. I think it's a really nice way to have what is essentially mouse and keyboard controls in your pocket. I think that's really cool. Um, it, it does take you getting used to, and my hand does start to hurt after a while, which is unfortunate. But I think it's a clever idea. Um, I like that it's a scaled down AAA style shooter, but uh, for Nintendo for a portable. Yeah. What does AAA mean? Triple A, uh, like best of the best, lots of money, big budget. Oh, like a uh, yeah, kind of the opposite. Is, the opposite is an indie game uh, with a few developers, smaller budget. Yeah. Um. But Metroid Prime Hunters, uh, I enjoyed it. But unfortunately, every time I try to replay it and feel that enjoyment again, I never get very far in it. Um, most recently, when I was trying to replay through it, you know, the uh, there's only... <laughs> I think there's only two bosses in the game, and they just repeat. And they're both kind of annoying. Uh, they're more... They're not so much hard as they are frustrating to beat. And then I, mean, I, I never got that far. I don't know what you're talking about. And eventually, I think I made it to the ice planet, and I just have no idea where to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Again, you... yeah, I had no idea where I was going, even on the first planet. Yeah. You're gonna get stuck not knowing where you want to go at one point, apparently in that game. So, I think I will mark it as okay, and the reason is. Metroid Prime Hunters. I did enjoy... Like... I, I don't actively avoid the game. I enjoyed my play through it. And... But I probably won't ever play it again. Yeah, so, there. Okay, now to AM2R? <laughs> no, no, no. AM2R is later. Oh, okay. Metroid Prime 3! Corruption! Okay. This might be my favorite Metroid game uh, overall. I mean, I'm too hard, maybe it's better. But, any, but anyways, one of my favorite Metroid games, maybe even my favorite. Uh, I really like the phase-on mechanics. It went from no phase-on in the first games to a little bit of phase-on in the first Metroid Prime game to a little bit more in the, se in the second Prime game. And now, like, half the entire plot is phase-on more than half of the entire plot is phase on yeah it's a big deal um and i like that you can like have this super powerful shooty gun but it we can do to use it i think that's a super cool idea it's a lot of cool bosses a lot of cool items including that um and i think it's an uh, s tier game s tier metroid prime three corruption and the name definitely suits it. <laughs> oh, wait, also, you can, uh, like, fly to other planets. I think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Metroid Prime 3. I really enjoyed my the one time I played through this game. Did I play through it one time? I think I played through it only one time. Maybe twice. I definitely played through it once. And, uh, like you said, I... I like the, I like, uh, I like the different planets. Um, 
I was bo- I was worried that all the different characters. There's a lot of characters. Oh in this yeah, game. yeah. Again, um, one thing I forgot to say is this game has talking. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. You walk up to people and talk to them. People and they're like, hey, Samus. I'm like, whoa, what is, what is this? <laughs> uh, hey, yeah, you're part of the, like, group now. Yeah. Cool. I was worried that it would, I don't know, take me out of the game or not feel like Metroid, but I think they did a great job. And, yeah, it still keeps, like, that atmosphere thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I like what they did with the weapons. I think they, I like the way they streamlined... Like, um, all the weapons. Yeah, in this game, except for it, instead of it being, like, swapping between weapons, how I mean, it just be, like, one weapon that keeps getting upgraded. I think yeah, they just really stack cool. up on top of each other, yeah. Like, kind of streamlines the process. Normal, and now you can have, like, fire shot, and now, like, shoot through walls. Right, because the opposite is Metroid Prime 1, where part of the gameplay mechanic was swapping, swapping beams and using the right beam for the job. Yeah. Whereas this game... It, it's just not the just there's not, not the gameplay the mechanic together. right so there's no point in doing that and so it simplifies it for the player that's cool they've got new i, I don't i do not mind the gimmicky uh what is it we remote stuff that's I mean, fine yeah, there, there is, uh, it is very gimmicky uh i forgot to say one thing that i do not like about this game is the bosses which are super gimmicky and are very, very, very easy to lose. Oh no! Especially the the phase on like gotta get good stages. <laughs> I see. Oh, I have two complaints. The first complaint is very, very nitpicky. After playing through Metroid Prime One and Metroid Prime Two on in the trilogy, on the for the Wii, um, everything felt great. The third game that was specifically designed for the Wii, the viewport felt more claustrophobic. It's hard to describe. It was like more zoomed in or something. Super, super nitpicky. I probably only noticed it because I just finished playing through Metroid Prime 1 and 2. That's not a big deal. What is a big deal, what is a big deal, my second problem with this game is the loading times. It's the one thing, I loved this game. It was really fun to play through, but it just prevents me from wanting to ever play through it again. They are so bad. My goodness. So, mm, I'm just going to uh, have to say it's good. Multiple times during uh, the beginning of the game escape sequence, <laughs> I was sitting there at the front of the door like, I'm going to lose this escape sequence. Let me through the door. Oh, no. <sighs> All right. Coming up next, Metroid Other M, which we own a copy of for yes. the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Cost six dollars on Amazon. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot. I know that a lot of people really don't like this game, uh, but I actually really like this game. Um, there are a lot of bosses, a lot of new like new weapons, bosses, which are my two th- favorite things to see in games like Metroid. Um, um, there's a lot of room to explore. There's a lot of cool areas, and it just feels like Metroid Prime. But everything is weird and talking and Samus, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll put it in B tier. B tier. Metroid Other M. Whoa. Uh, also, the name is really stupid. Seriously, Metroid Other Metroid. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. I see. As for me, um, I did not play through this game. i not even sure I made it 15% into the game. Um, so I was super, I was fascinated, super, super curious to see, like in person. You know, I've heard all the complaints about how stupid it is that Samus isn't allowed to use her equipment. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's like the worst. And I wanted to see it firsthand. And honestly, in my opinion... I see what the developers were going for, and like on a scale from, you know, of it not working, uh, you know, zero, not working at all, it just doesn't make any sense, to a 10, oh, this makes perfect sense. It's just barely at a six. I can see what they were doing. I do, if you really pay attention to the plot and what they're saying, I think it works. I think it makes sense. Unfortunately, it shouldn't have to be that hard. (laughs) <laughs> to make your game make sense. 
It should just, uh, yeah. It could, it could have been done a lot better. It's, it's a neat idea, very poorly executed. And anyway, uh, <laughs> I could not get used to the controls. Oh, uh, I, I forgot one thing. Yeah. All the music is bad except for like <laughs> one track. I can't believe how bad the music is. Oh my gosh. Um, I could not get used to the controls. Uh, oh my gosh, the first boss is like a, one of those wibbly wobbly flailing arm guys. Uh, He's like a giant purple blob. I don't even know. He just smacks you with his head. I lost it. I was laughing so hard. Um, but whatever. That's just a side note. The best thing about this game, oh my gosh, that, that actually makes me want to play it again. I'm not going to play it, probably. But that I was super impressed is I love the animation of Samus running. Oh my gosh, she looks so cool. I mean, just seeing her run alone makes me want to turn on the game and just run around. Literally. It's so cool. Unfortunately, that's not uh, enough to keep it out, keep it from being crap. So, <laughs> what have we got here? Metroid Other M. I did not play through this game. I don't really want to. It's kind of crap. All right. Next up, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Do you even know what this game is? <laughs> no. F tier. F tier. <laughs> I don't uh, know what it is, and it doesn't. I mean, it has Prime in the name, so do I have to? Oh, it does, it? doesn't it? <laughs> it's a. Oh man, what a. I've never played it either, so I'm just gonna put it unknown. This game has a goofy history. Unknown. Oh, no. Maybe I'll try it someday. I mean, I, I said my favorite series was the Metroid Prime series, but I'm not counting this. All right, next up is Metroid Samus Returns, the remake, the official Nintendo the remake official of Metroid 2. Um, I think it's fun, but after, like, a few... Wait, no, I just had the... Did I just have the demo? I think I just had the demo. Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, Metroid... Samus Returns, uh, I borrowed a copy from a friend, oh, and right, we played right, through right, some right. of it. Okay, yeah, I, I, I had no idea where I was going next. Oh, you got lost? Yeah. Oh, I see. Lost again. Metroid 2 Remake. That doesn't work. Metroid 2, get lost. Metroid 2 Remake, get lost. You think I'll just, like, put it in a D tier next to Metroid oh. 2? Oh, wow, does it? Like, the same. Let's Not see. You said D tier? Yes. Hey! <laughs> All right, there. Next to it's uh, Mama. I don't know. <laughs> Grandma. Yeah. All right. Uh. Metroid Samus Returns. So this is a remake of my favorite game of all time, <laughs> which means it has a lot to live up to. Sadly, I don't think it lives up to it. I had a, I was forcing myself to play through it, and I, I think I made it. Uh, maybe a third of the way into the game? Maybe a half. Uh, I didn't... Yeah, anyway, I think I made it halfway... Th between <laughs> between a third and a halfway through the game. Uh, before I said to myself, I'm just... Like, I'm not having fun. I'm just forcing myself to play. Um, so this game introduces 360 degree shooting, which was fine. Oh, yeah, I, I like that. Like, shooting in all directions. Mm -hmm. It introduced the Aeon abilities, which were fine. They were pretty cool. Wait. What? Oh, uh, so <sighs> in addition to missiles, you also had and E tanks. You also had uh, an Aeon ability meter. I think it's called. Is that this game? Yeah, and you had like four abilities. One major weapon, super strong. One sent out a pulse that showed you all the secrets around you. Stuff oh like yeah, that. I, I know. I remember the pulse. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think I had all of that. I think I only. And I think I think that works. Some people complained about it. I think it works fine. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there were still plenty of secrets. Even though the game gives me the ability to see where all the secrets are, there were still plenty of secrets and plenty, plenty. I'm sure I missed. It's still uh, plenty to hunt around for. Um, yeah, but what drew me out of the game was I did not like the. Uh, what are they? Uh, quick, quick time events. I did not like the quick time events. Yeah, I don't really like quick time. Yeah, they drew. They took me out of the game. I thought they were silly. I thought they were they were repetitive. I got tired of them. And um, oh, and I got angry at the game. I spent. I spent. 
so much time being frustrated. I was at the beginning of the game, and I was getting my butt kicked by these Metroids. Mm. And, like, what the heck? This is the beginning of the game. Sure, Metroids are supposed to be challenging, but I am getting destroyed. Uh, I think I had to look up on the internet. Like, it shouldn't be this hard. I ended up looking up the internet, like, how do you, how do you kill the early Metroids? Stuff like that, whatever. See if I was something I'm, I was missing. Turns out, uh, if you use the Ice Beam on the Alpha Metroids, it makes them so much easier. You just, you know, shoot them once, they fall to the ground, frozen, stuff like that. It just, like, it, in, from what I can tell, they were, it was meant to be part of the battle. The Ice Beam was meant to be part of the battle. Ice Beam and missiles. But from what I remember, the game never indicated that to me. I just had to have prior knowledge from other Metroid games that Ice works on Metroids. And that really frustrated me. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, I was forcing myself to play through and I finally gave up and said, what am I doing? I have other fun things I'd rather be doing that are more fun. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have to put Metroid Samus Returns next to Metroid Other M. I couldn't even... Uh... Well, the difference between crap and okay is even if it's not for me it still might be a good game i think metroid samus returns is unbalanced and kind of gimmicky no i think i'm gonna stick it with crap huh all right interesting okay well before we continue uh let's just throw in metroid prime 4 it's not even out yet nobody's even played the game <laughs> <laughs> what's your opinion of metroid prime 4 it has a really Really cool looking title yeah, screen. Yeah, it has a cool looking title screen. S tier. <laughs> F tier. Ah, okay. Because it's not out yet. <laughs> Alright. Haven't played. Okay. Uh, Dread. Metroid Dread for the Nintendo Switch. I don't really like this game. I mean, there's one huge problem with this game. There is, like, nothing. I mean, how do I say it? It's too difficult. Like, way too difficult. A, like, a pro you need to be like a professional Metroid player or something. <laughs> it's... You need to be an actual bount space bounty hunter. Yes. <laughs> um, because of the, like, Emmy, the stupid Emmy zones, like, you can't even kill them. You have to, like, sneak past them. I, I'm very bad at sneaking. Um, and, like, you would never know if, like, it, the Emmy would be right there and then you would be dead. Like, multiple times I would just open a door and then, boom, I'm dead. <laughs> and then you have to go back to your last save, save station. And it was so annoying. Well, I, th I think there's respawn points, but still. Yeah. yeah lots of, lots of lots try of, and try again. Yeah. And they're like, oh, here's the super beam that you can use to kill them. And then it, like, just, like, takes it back. And I'm like... How do I get this back? <laughs> um, and that I was lost. <laughs> so many Metroid games, I just I have no idea where I am. So I was just sitting in this one area trying to get past this Emmy zone. I kept dying over and over again. So finally I'm like, I'm gonna go play something else. <laughs> and never played it. I never played it again. So, I think this is, I don't like giving games up here. I'll give it a D tier. Sure. Metroid Dread. D, D for Dread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also couldn't get into this game. I don't even think I finished the demo. Um, I, I didn't finish the demo because I got lost. I didn't like the cutscenes. I didn't like the quick time. Was there quick time events? No, I don't. No, there were no quick times. I think there are some in the game, but we didn't get to them. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Maybe. I love the animations. Uh, <laughs> I was tired. Is it, I'm tired of Samus being stuck on a space station. <laughs> oh yeah. Like it was cool in uh, Metroid Fusion, and then. Again, and oh, Metroid Other M. I don't know. And then by now, I'm, yeah, go somewhere else, Samus. I don't know. Stop being on the space station, even though you're a space bounty hunter. 
And like, you have to be on some sort of spacecraft, but you have your own spaceship. So why do you even need to be on a space station? Yeah. I guess I don't really have much to say about it. It just didn't uh, didn't draw me in. I don't know. So I'm going to give it... Uh... Okay. Well, it didn't draw me in, so I'm going to put... Uh... No, no, no. Oh, that's the difference. So okay means it's a good game, it's just not for me. Crap means you don't think anybody can really play it. It's just a bad game overall. Yeah. I'm gonna say... Meh, I'll put it here. Whatever. Okay, on to the last game. AM2R. This is... No, I changed my mind. <laughs> no, that's... They're okay. They're just not for me. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Um, Antor, this is a tie with, uh, three, uh, Prime 3 for my favorite Metroid, uh, for my favorite Metroid game. I think it has a lot of cool items. I think after this, uh, I'm just gonna go play some Antor. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's... Definitely my favorite 2D uh, Metro game. Now, if only it was an actual release. So well, I'm going to put it in S tier because it's an extremely good game. A lot of items. I really like the escape sequence um, oh, in the man. middle of the game. Yeah. Uh, the atmosphere is amazing. There's a lot of cool stuff. Everything is good. And also, it's a Metro 2 remake. That's good. <laughs> Yep. So, once again, we got another. Uh, it's the best. Once again, we got another. Uh, another. Um, right. Uh, remake of Metroid 2. My favorite game. Uh, this time, I think they did it. The developers of this one did it really, really right. Um, they did a. They did a good job of capturing a lot of the atmosphere of the first one, of, of the original, uh, which I really appreciated. And I played through this game many, many times. Maybe five times so far, all the way through. Yeah, I've played through it like three times as well. I appreciate all the additions. I can't think of any additions to the game that... I mean, there's a ton of additions. Holy moly, there's a lot of additions. Oh, what is it? Oh, and, uh, stuff they added to the game. Uh, I can't think of anything they added to the game that I, that I dislike. I think it's great. Um... Right, as you mentioned, the uh, escape sequence is just just a wonderful idea. Because, you know, Metroid, one of the staples of the series is an escape sequence. But, uh, yeah, they snuck it in right there in the middle of the game. Really clever. Usually it would be at the end of the game or even the beginning of the game. No, yeah. it's just like straight in the middle. I love the remixes of the songs. Oh, yeah. I love the, the, the music is, like, the best. I mean, I have it on my phone. I listen to yeah, it all you, the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was, I, I mean, oh, and because, it's, because it was made by fans, uh, they included, you know, they had the opportunity to include everything that fans would want, which means if some people like the ability from Metroid Zero Mission to grab onto ledges and pull yourself up, you, that option's there. If you don't like it, if you like a more traditional style, you can disable that. And it's nice to have those options. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I just I'm, I could just gush over it, but we'll leave it at that. Okay, time to go play some M2R. <laughs> all right, wait, wait, I want to look at our results here. And I think this is interesting. Okay. So out of all these games, you kind of have a, uh, a pretty balanced pretty yes, balanced I'm, approach you got some the app tier doesn't exist it's just games right, that right, right. I don't even play it that so you got an hour don't have to play it. some of the games from the middle of the series medium old they're at the top you've got uh right the old game oldest game in the middle you got some more i guess there's really not a pattern in regards to age you like some yeah. old games you hate some old games or yeah. just like some old games Hmm. It's just I really don't like Metro, the, all the Metro 2 series, except for Antoir, which actually included a map. <laughs> Yay, finally. As for me, so I was thinking, I was wondering if uh, I made the claim that I either really like love the game or really hate the game. Um, so I've got five that I love, 
And we've got four that I thought were okay. They're fine games, but I really wasn't into them. And then, of course, just the one that I thought was crap. Yeah. Uh, and then in the middle, there's some the good ones. So it kind of balanced, ended up that way. You should rename crap to other <laughs> <laughs> Metroid, other crap. Uh, other, other M writing. All right. Well, thanks for going through this list with me. Time to go play some Metroid. Yep.